walk around your house, look at all the conveniences that you have in your home today that didn't exist 10, 15 years ago. Do you know that every one of them was first conceived in the mind of one individual through the use of their imagination? How are you using your imagination? I went on all through school and I did everything I could to make my dad proud and to, to end up this great banking lawyer. And then all of a sudden I've got this idea, you know, I'm going to be an entrepreneur, I'm going to work in the personal development and corporate development industry. To think of my background as a lawyer and then having this goal, it, in my mind, from the perception I had sitting in the seminar room, it was, it was a real stretch but that's exactly what I went on to do. Many years ago, I heard Napoleon Hill say that imagination is the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivably powerful force that the world has ever known. Do you know, your imagination is a mental faculty that you've been gifted with that will take you anywhere you want to go. It'll take you to other countries. It'll take you to other time and space. But you've got to use it. You've got to exercise it. You see, your imagination enables you to go into the future and bring the future into the present. It's such a phenomenal concept. Do you know that whatever you can imagine, you can have? Visioneering was one of the things that Bob taught, and that's how I started using visioneering to create the program Thinking Into Results and to ultimately own the Proctor Gallagher Institute with Bob. Everyone would say to me all the time as I was growing up, Sandy, aren't you ever going to be satisfied? Isn't it ever going to be enough? You don't need all that. The truth is, no, it's never going to be enough. I mean, we're here to live. We're here to grow. You should never be satisfied. When you get near a goal, you're going to have a desire to go to a greater goal. I don't care how fast you run, we want to run faster. It doesn't matter how high you can jump, you want to jump higher. It doesn't matter how much money you earn, you want to earn more. I would hate to think that I am today all that I will ever be. I want to know that I'm always going to be more of me. I want to know that I'm always going to be going for something really big that's going to introduce me to a part of myself I didn't even know was there. We have been raised to deify the intellect, yet we've got an educational system that says if you haven't gone for a certain period of time and got X grades, you're, you're not going to make it. That's just the way it is. But it doesn't have to be the way it is. Edison said, mine, where opportunities originate. He said, I know this world is ruled by infinite intelligence. What does that mean? No beginning, no end. Infinite intelligence. Do you know the little cell phone that you stick in your shirt pocket, or maybe get lost in your purse, has more power than the first computer that took the first rocket to the moon? Use your imagination to build a better day today, tomorrow, and next week. When you leave there, you're going to be living on a different frequency. You're going to be looking at a different world. Your awareness is going to expand dramatically. And you're going to make a lot of new friends. You'll have friends that are coming in from all over the world that you'll be friends with for the rest of your life. Things will keep changing for you. Your mind will keep expanding. I'm gonna share some information with you that, I don't know, I think it's the best information in the world. It's helped me earn millions of dollars. It's made me friends all over the world. It keeps me in a healthy body. And you know something? It'll do exactly the same for you. We'll see ourselves building the kind of life we want, creating the prosperity that is our birthright, creating the company that we dream about helping people wherever we can. Everything starts in your mind. Everything starts in your imagination.
Check us out at ProctorGallagherInstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.